I'm Zach from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Behind me is the Hofbrau House, Pittsburgh, and this is what I'm doing right now. Good morning. I slept for about four hours. I sort of feel like I got hit by a bus. So today's gonna be long. So here's the cut to the tech set with some tech on it. This looks really freaking cool. It looks really nice in there. Oh yeah. Woo. Oh yeah. Woo. Boom. I just finished SciShow Kids. So that means it's time to head out to Sawmill Gulch, hopefully get a better audio recording situation than we had yesterday. And then after that, it should be time to get my hair cut. I've gotten to know this road very well over the last week or so. We finished right as it started raining. Perfect timing. Wow, it's all wet. All right, the time has finally come. It's time for a haircut. Gotta get this thing off my head. Boom! Much better. My head's lighter, but now I have to deal with the, uh, there's like the little tiny hairs that end up all over the place for the next three days, especially in my ears. It's 12.51. My flight's in five hours. We're currently trying to see if Kelsey can fit inside the suitcase. I mean, I could totally zip that up. Hold on, try again, try again. If I wanted to, I could go take that now empty suitcase and film myself walking around with it outside and cut it in between the part where I put you in the suitcase and let you out. And then everyone will think I'm just carrying you around in a suitcase. That's the power of editing. I don't think people would believe that you could haul me up and down the stairs though. That's a heavy suitcase. I'll just take the elevator. Oh yeah, the elevator. Yeah, the elevator. Uh huh. Good morning, Toddly. Hey, man. Good morning. It's 4.30 in the morning. I got up about half an hour ago. I'm guessing you didn't sleep at all. What? <laughs> of course I did. I always sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, I didn't sleep. This morning, both Caitlin and I are flying to Toronto. However, I'm on a flight that is slightly earlier than Caitlin's flight, and it goes to Minneapolis before Toronto. Caitlin goes to Salt Lake City, and then to Toronto. So even though we're going to the same place, we don't get to hang out today. Who uh, who arrives first? I do. Like how much earlier? I don't yeah, remember. Hour and a half, I think. Are you going to just wait around? Or are you just gonna hop and skip over to the hotel? I will just hang out, play some games on my laptop. Oh yeah. Play some Factorio. Ooh, buddy. That hour and a half's gonna fly by. Sure is. So this is it, huh? Yep, that's the, uh, that's the secret package. Okay, well. Caitlin went up to the desk and asked if she could get moved on to my flight. Okay, I'm boarding. Okay. We'll see if Caitlin gets on or not. slept for that whole flight. I just have like 20 minutes to get to my next flight. I'll probably sleep for that whole thing as well.
You okay in there, Kelsey? I have several hours to wait until Caitlin's point arrives, so I'm just hanging out at the subway for now. Sort of maybe taking a nap on my backpack. Caitlin is on 2797 from Salt Lake City. It just arrived. That's our hotel. Really? Yep. Hey! I was just asking if uh, Quest Bars were uh, a sponsor again, so this is very exciting. <laughs> so we had a bit of a travel mishap. Buffer is flying everybody up tomorrow, not today. So we don't have a hotel room tonight. I guess partially my fault because when it came time to book this flight, I looked at the Buffer website and it says October 20th through the 23rd. If it starts on the 20th, I need to fly up on the 19th. So that's the date that I looked at. The Buffer people are trying to figure out if they have a room to stick us in here tonight. If not, Corey said that we can stay at his place tonight. Even though Corey's staying here tonight. I wonder what he's doing with the dogs, if they're gonna be here or there. I feel like I mostly just use this channel to complain about how sleepy I am, but I am so sleepy. I don't know that the lack of sleep that I am experiencing right now has ever been achieved in my life. It's only 5 p.m. Missoula time right now, and I feel like it's three or four in the morning. There's Here we go, the Buffer Command Center this year. Is this the shirt? This is the shirt, What's the Relio shirt. shirt. Everybody's names. Yeah. I saw Michael Buckley and I thought it was me, but that's Aww. not me. We were just Too talking bad. about the, the abundance of The amount of, amount of Michaels. Michaels. But actually, where am I? I don't know. I see Morgan Spurlock. Yeah. Aha. Yeah. Yay. Aha. You're even in bold, bold yeah. and fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's right. So the third and final presidential uh, debate happened this evening. We watched it in here. Donald Trump said the word bigly. Twice. Twice. He actually did a pretty good job of restraining himself. He didn't get too Trumpy for like the first half hour, but then I think he just got angry and frustrated at Clinton and he turned into his same old self. And the thing that everybody is talking about now is that he, he won't commit to accepting the election results when they come in because he's been pro promoting this narrative of the the election is being rigged. I mean, what is he gonna do? What, what, what could he even do? There's a significant portion of his base that fetishizes violent revolution against the government by not committing to accept election results, I think Trump is firing up that base of people that supports him. God bless America. Look at all these Canadians in here. <laughs> I was just thinking, do you know how many Americans I've heard go, yeah, I guess, <laughs> like the last six months? <laughs> As many of you know, Corey Vidal, the founder of Buffer Festival, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, he's sick today. The Buffer people just let us stay in his room for the night, so that solves our not having a hotel room conundrum. It's a suite, so there's plenty of room here. Actually, if you remember the video from last year, Corey was rubbing his leg hairs in the sheets. Walk-in closet. Robes? Dang. Well, I guess it's time to let Kelsey out of her suitcase. That's not Kelsey. It appears to have suffered some damage. The rear part of this case all the way around separated a little bit from the back and the graphics card was loose. Seems like not a good way to transport a computer, I guess. Well, you live and learn.